Hey guys, Dan Gaucher Golf here. Going to teach you today a little bit about how to create a consistent impact position throughout the entire golf bag here. So before we talk about the impact, I like to talk about the ball position because Ben Hogan was way before his time here. He knew more about D-plane than a lot of guys still know to this day. So Ben Hogan talked about a, a lot about a consistent ball position. So whether he had a seven iron or his pitching wedge, the ball position was the same relative to his left foot and he knew whether to open his stance or have it square based off of that. Now the thing that I love that Ben Hogan did with this and I don't exactly agree with his one ball position nowadays but what I do love that he did back then is he created a consistent impact position because of that consistent ball position. What he was doing is he was essentially creating an impact position where no matter what club he had and no matter where his back foot was, he was going to get the handle of the club back to his left thigh at impact. So whether he had his wedge and he had a nice open stance and it was a little bit smaller of a stance, he still was trying to create an impact position where the handle of the club was even with that left thigh. Likewise with his seven iron, even if he just drops that right foot back a little bit, stance gets a little bit more square, he's still trying to create an impact position where that handle is on that left thigh. So. Likewise, throughout the entire golf bag here. So likewise, what I try and do is I try and teach my players a consistent impact position. So even though I vary the ball position based on the club and shot we're trying to hit, so with this seven iron, I might have it in the middle of my stance with my stance pretty squared up. I still try and teach my players how to get this handle back to their left thigh at impact. Now, Recently with TrackMan and flight scopes and all these radar datas, we know a lot more about angle of attack as well. What this also does is it creates a consistent angle of attack with each club throughout the bag. So we, we don't have to have a pitching wedge that sometimes is 10 degrees down and then other times it's 15 degrees down and a seven iron that's sometimes four degrees down on this golf ball and then sometimes it's 10 degrees down. Now we're creating, if we can get this handle back to this left thigh at impact, we should have a consistent angle of attack, we should have a consistent strike on this golf ball moving that low point forward as well. So a quick drill that I like to do with all my players is just a simple pump drill. So when they set up, Whatever club it is, we're going to set up that, that good posture and everything first, that good ball position. And then all they're going to do is they're going to come through to impact and really feel that this handle is right at that left thigh. So they're going to take a couple of tries at this, really getting the feel of turning that body and getting that handle to come to their left thigh here. Then what I might have them do is let's actually hit a few shots, but let's just hit little punch shots. So we're talking maybe 50, 60% tempo here. And all we're working on is controlling that impact position, really making sure that that handle is over by my left thigh. That way when we start working our way up into our full swing, we're able to turn, rotate, get that handle in front, start compressing this golf ball a little bit more, start hitting the golf ball a little bit more consistently. Give this tip a try guys, get that handle over to that front or lead thigh for you, let me know how it works for you. 